Hello, doing a little uh, update here. Um, first of all, this on my wrist is the uh, band that lets you get in and out of where I went tonight. Uh, it wasn't a club, it wasn't, um, well I guess maybe it was a sporting event. It was roller derby, women's roller derby at the fairgrounds here in Nashville. And uh, I had never been before and I got invited as part of a group outing and it was actually pretty cool and I'm not even one for sports but it's just kinda neat there's they put rope lights down on the floor to outline the ring rink ring whatever you want to call it there's no railing there's no sloped floor like in all the movies from the 70s and stuff like that it it's pretty low key because this it's like a multi-use building and uh... It was kind of cool. They skate around, and I, I don't officially in any way understand the rules, nor how they keep score, or anything like that. And uh, But it, it was neat. I cheered when people that I was with cheered, and it, it was fun. They get in there, and they just push each, push each, heh, push each other around, and it, I mean, it looks like it's pretty physically demanding. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a sporting event. And uh, they have three periods per game and in between periods they bring out this big wheel and spin it it's kinda like a wheel of fortune wheel turned on its side and uh, whatever comes up on the wheel at least one person from each team comes out and does as part of the halftime entertainment even though it's not a half uh, between period entertainment uh, one time it landed on uh, dance off so two of the girls got out there and danced in their skates and that was interesting and uh, Another time where they had to like arm wrestle or something. They got on the ground and arm wrestled. And then they flood the thing with children and put hula hoops on them. And they do that for a while. And there's music and the sounds. Okay, they need a better sound system. Or at least one that was facing my direction. They only had one stack of speakers and it was all going that way. But um, it was cool. Uh, let's see. There, at one point, the scoreboard is up on a, a projector screen. And they had a projector on like an AV cart stacked on top of a table with a laptop next to it where they're keeping score running the program. This girl just flies off the ring and just nails that table. Projector, cart, laptop, everything just goes flying. And then there was no score for the whole rest of the third half or third period. So that was interesting. They're going to have to come up with a more secure projector plan, I think. But I don't know. There was, what, 800 people there probably? All paying anywhere from 10 to $15 to get in. And uh, so it's, it's an interesting little get together. It was a, such a range of people there. There were people that would be, see I'm gonna, I'm, for this purpose I'm gonna classify myself as normal. Uh, so normal being ever so slightly strange, which is me, all the way to some folks that really were kinda out there. There was one guy, he had a totally shaved head and he had piercings that went all through here and little bars. There was probably like 20 something of them. And so it's all very varied folks and Everybody just having a good time, and it was pretty neat. Um, it was part of a surprise party for this guy that uh, I work with at church named Dave. And so happy birthday, Dave. Um, happy birthday also to my friend Marlena. It's her birthday soon, today, also. So anyways, and it was all put on by his wife, Debbie. And uh, she is just uh, incredibly insane in a good way in the fact that everything she does is just totally over the limit. She goes too far with everything she does as far as how well she does things. Uh, every week she brings food in for all of the musicians and the volunteers at church and it's a huge spread. I mean it's warm food, cold food, desserts, there's plates, there's plastic silverware, there's signs that tell you what today's menu is in the the uh, breakfast line. I mean it's it's crazy. So we all eat at this restaurant, we surprised Dave, it was all cool. Then we go over to the roller rink, and her son, she's got him standing by the door looking out for everybody that was at the party, giving them a whole gift bag full of stuff, of goodies to eat and drink during the game. There was Rice Krispie Treats and Reese's things and M&M's and chips and crackers and bottles of water and cups and... Each one, each bag has a laminated tag with whoever's name, like my name, on it. And so... Thanks, Debbie, for putting it all together. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then the other thing... Hold on one second. Do I have time? I do have time. Okay. So, 
Do you see how cluttered everything is right here? I'm not even going to show you over there because it's real cluttered. Anyways, I've been really busy. Um, Tuesday, I went and saw the movie The Fall by Tarsim. And it was absolutely nothing like what I expected it to be. I'm switching hands because this arm's getting tired. It was absolutely nothing like what I expected it to be. It was a good movie. It was a weird movie. It was kind of like The Princess Bride in the fact it's a guy telling a little girl a story and sometimes their voiceover comes over into the story and changes some aspect of the story. It's very, just hugely vibrant colors. Explosively vibrant colors and settings they filmed in, gosh, I think I counted like 14 different countries they filmed in. I really enjoyed it. It's playing at the Green Hills Regal, for I know for a fact, because that's where I went, and you should go see it. I didn't eat before I went, so I got, I figured, okay, I'm going to um, eat at the condiment, or the condiment, the concession stand. So I ordered a pizza. Do I have time to tell this story? Oh, okay. So I ordered a pizza, and the girl was like, you know, pizzas take six minutes to cook, right? So I was like, yeah, I got time. I got 20 minutes. <sighs> okay, what kind do you want? Well, pepperoni. Long story short, I eventually see them put the pizza in. I wait my six minutes, nobody gets the pizza out. About eight minutes in, somebody goes over and gets the pizza, but I can't see what they're doing because they're kind of obscured. About 12 minutes in, finally the girl's like, can I help you with something? I'm like, I'm waiting for my pizza. And she's like, well, where did it go? She goes, she can't find it. She's like, did you want it delivered? Somebody said you wanted it delivered. And I said, no, I didn't want it delivered. So they go and find it and get it to me, and it was good. Anyways, that's it. That's my blog. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and have a good evening.